what's up youtube guys and i'm back with another freaking video <coughs> oh covid hold on I'm back again with another video and in today's video I just wanted to give y'all a little story time and by the way don't don't pay attention to my hair this is how my natural hair looks in my natural state if my hair was out it's cute or whatever but you know it's a lot to handle but anyways to get back on topic make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to this channel because this channel is lit it's being it's gonna get more lit stay tuned also, please hit that post notification bell so you guys will be notified when I post another video. And yeah, join. Let, be a part of the MA gang, the MA family. We are lit. We are lit. We are lit. Period. But yeah, you guys. Also, if you clicked on this video, I know that a lot of y'all are nosy and a lot of y'all like drama. So if you click this video, because it was full of drama. Well, you clicked on the right video. So let's get right into the video. Okay. Okay, so you guys, this video, this story time takes place in high school. And you know, like, my, this, yeah, I think this takes place in my senior year of high school. I'm sorry, guys, I'm fixing the camera. But this story takes place in my senior year of high school and really by this time I was on a little break from in a, a little break from a little situation that I was in so I was living my best life it's my senior year of high school I'm trying to enjoy myself to the fullest and really you know enjoy my last year of high school like I said this is my last experience of a lifetime to experience prom you know senior trip and, you know, you don't have these things in college because you're getting older. Why would you, why would they be doing that in college? Because, like, you know. But, yeah, like, I really just wanted to enjoy my year and have, like, a stress-free year. So, during this little break, you know, of course, when you break it off with somebody, you always think that, um, you know, you guys aren't going to get back together. Especially if you break it off in the way that, you know certain things happen definitely for sure read in between the lines if y'all don't know <laughs> but definitely you know certain things didn't go as planned or you know just in general we're not gonna go there but so we ended it off and you know usually like i said when you break it off you you're not trying to be going back to that person or, or whatever the case is so you know me i was getting to know a couple of more people i was getting to know people in my class even though i really knew everybody in my class but you know i was getting to know a lot of people in a different level and i was talking to a lot of people i've never saw myself talking to and not particularly saying like talking in a relationship but you know how you guys before you get in a relationship you got to talk to somebody to get to know them so this was there was a particular boy i'm not going to say no names I'm going to make up my name. There was this boy named Kevin, right? And Kevin, you know, me and Kevin was always cool. We was like, we wasn't close, close, but we was close. Like, we would always say, what's up? We would always have a conversation, hug, you know what I'm saying? We was close enough to do that. But, you know, there was one day that, you know, Kevin, and I'm going to say another boy as well. I'm going to put this in there. But I could tell Ke Kevin, this is, Kevin's first time coming to my practice because if you guys don't know if you haven't watched my previous videos I mentioned in my videos that I was a cheerleader all four years of my high school experience so you know this is Kevin's first time at my practice you know sitting through it and you know usually he don't sit at my practices or anything like that so you know while I was practicing with my team Kevin was just across the room kept staring at me kept smiling you know certain things like you know that face you just looking at somebody like they yummy yeah it was one of those faces so I'm just like you know why he looking at me like that he never looked at me like that in that way we were always cool like 
and I heard you like Tiffany. So it's like, why are you looking at me? So, you know, one time I'm leaving my practice to go home and you know, Kevin's standing outside with Jeff. I'ma just say Jeff. And you know, I'm I'm standing there, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, is this man waiting for me to come out of practice? What is it? So me and Kevin was talking and I, I got to talking to him like, you know, I heard you like Tiffany. I'm not trying to get in the middle of nothing. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, my dog started barking because, you know, the door opened. But, yeah, me and Kevin was walking and I was talking to him like, I've never seen you interested in me like this. Like, what made you all of a sudden be interested in me? And then plus on top of that, I heard you was talking to Tiffany. So he instantly told me, he said, you know, me and Tiffany, I'm not trying to talk to Tiffany. You know, I like you and stuff like that and so on and so forth. So I'm like... But it's funny how you saying you like me and you didn't like me before or did it even show signs of it. Also, guys, please don't mind this. I had toothpaste on a pimple, so don't mind it. But yeah, like I was like, how how do you like me now? And it was never shown before. One red flag. So I was just like, okay, cool. So, you know, he walks me to the train station and go on the train, go home. Next day, boom get into school and you think you know somebody just told you they like you and you think they on the same timing so i get into school and i see kevin and i'm just like oh hey you know what i'm saying you know the flirty type trying to give him a hug or whatever and he's trying to give me like this standoffish type of thing and i was just like off rip i peeped it and i was just like so oh i'm the girl no first of all you just told me tiffany you don't even speak to tiffany but you're sitting right next to tiffany on top of that and then after that, you, so you trying to make it seem like I'm the girl you want to be with after school. And this is the girl you want to be with during the day in front of everybody. Okay, cool. And not even to mention this man was even like, even when I was around, like I said, I was at practice. I was around people. So me and you are talking around people. You feel what I'm saying? So really everybody would really find out that you're speaking to two people at the same time and i told him and i didn't even have to tell him because most of the people in that school know i don't talk to most of the people on only one person i ever really dated in that school so i'm not trying to be known as no girl that's like a reading between the blanks or anything like that you're crazy you're tripping so i had practice again that day he came to my practice, chilled, whatever, did whatever he did, stared, grinned, whatever. And this man walked me to the train station again. We stopped at the store so we get something to eat. Because, you know, usually when you have the practice, you be hungry. So we stopped at the store and got a sandwich. And this man kissed me. Like, and I mean like kiss. I don't mean like regular kiss. I mean kiss like tongue kiss. Like, man, first of all, I don't even know where your mouth been. Two, aren't you talking to Tiffany? And mind you, I didn't even tell y'all this part. This man, half of the time after the after school was over, he would walk Tiffany somewhere. I don't know, home or whatever it is. And, you know, act like I don't even exist. So all of this is processing in my head while this man is kissing me. I'm like, he's kissing me, but... I bet you he kisses Tiffany, and I bet you he think he about to have his cake and eat it too. But he didn't realize the type of female I was. I don't get down like that. I don't do that. I don't even like people that do that. So, sorry again, guys, about the camera. So, this was the icing on the cake for me. That was the second red flag. So, this was all in one week, by the way. So the next day, I think it was like Thursday or Friday, it was the end of the week, and we had a basketball game. So, of course, I chaired the basketball games, football games, all that. Y'all get the point. So, we on our way to a basketball game, and this man, I'm walking, right? I'm walking, 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 right? And this man tried to call himself, trying to touch me inappropriately, and I'm just like, 
third flag. <laughs> Offer it. Third flag, because I'm just like, first of all, we wasn't even talking for that long for us to even do that. That's for one. And for two, you really think I'm I'm really about to have you out here talking to me and talking to another female? You got me messed up because I'm not the type of person who likes to share. I don't share my man. I don't like to share nothing. Don't even look at my man. Like, period. But you're not about to do that. So I told him, yeah, I think that was a Thursday. So I told him the next day, the following day, which was a Friday. I told him, I said, you're going to have a choice, right? And your choice is, and really, you, he didn't even have a choice. Kevin didn't have a choice. So at this point, you know, Kevin, I saw him in the hallway or saw him in my class or whatever. I forgot because high school been so long ago. But I stopped him and I told him, you got to make a choice. Or was it same night? Bear with me, y'all. Uh, same night as Thursday. I told him before I left in the train station and went home. I said, you either got to make a choice. It's me or it's her. And I told him, typically, I don't give guys the chance to choose because I made a choice for you. But I mean, I gave him a chance. I was like, you either got a chance to choose her or you choosing me. And he took too long to answer. So I was just like, okay, cool. I'm going to make the choice for you. You can go to her because you're not going to continually keep disrespecting me and her. Are you crazy? That's not for that. I'm all for the woman power, boo. Period. Even though his girlfriend, Tiffany, did deserve, you know, to know certain things that went down. But I'm like, we all in the same school. And she should know. And that is just that. The rest of that is none of my business and I don't care about. But I was not about to have a man disrespect me you're crazy i'm nobody's side chick i'm nobody's second choice okay i'm the prize you're not the prize period and i want every female out there to know that any type of male that gives you you know makes you look crazy hides you throughout the day but be with somebody else through the night period that it because at the same time you nobody's second choice you nobody second guess none of that if the man wants you he only wants you and that's it period but I, I sum all this story time up to really say, like, guys, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm looking at my, my notes because before I make a video, I write it down. But, yeah. But, yeah, I just wanted to make this story time to really just understand that, you know, you can't talk to everybody that you meet. Or you can't even turn a friend into a boyfriend. Not everybody's meant, not, excuse me. Not everybody is meant for that. Even that, and that goes for you can't turn into a girl, a girl that's a friend into a girlfriend. You can't do that. Because not everybody's not meant to be in a relationship. And not everybody's meant to be in a relationship together. So for the most part, I really feel like friends should really stay friends. If it goes more than that, that's fine. But it's at least don't force it. Like, don't make yourself too available for a man. If a man likes you, he'll chase after you. And that's just it. And that's just on period. But yeah, I just wanted to make that story time because I really was tripped up that a man really wanted to have his cake and eat it too. And he don't know. I just got out of a relationship that seemed like at that time the same thing. Like, are you crazy? And this is, I'm telling you, this is back in 2016. It wasn't even 2017 yet. Like, boy bye. Or oh, if it was, still boy bye. But yeah, you guys, I really just wanted to give y'all this story time and just, yeah, let y'all know that most of these boys, because I can't curse on here, ain't nothing. And I'm not saying they ain't worth nothing, it ain't worth nothing, but most of them out here ain't men, you know what I'm saying? Like, most of them out here just be playing and just want to play somebody's heart. And, that, and not saying they ain't females like that either, but I'm just saying either way that it goes, it ain't cool. Especially if you're trying to do it to me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But anyways, you guys, let me end this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this wonderful channel. And please hit that post notification bell so you will be notified the next time I do post, which is tomorrow. So stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned, boo. Also, please, 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 please go back and go to Instagram because I know you guys was just on Instagram. 
They can't tell me because this generation is very much into social media. So please make your way to Instagram and please go get you a nice little name bracelet from Verolia. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but it's Verolia. V E R O L I A A. I might just write it down in the description, so don't worry about it. If you didn't catch that, it's underscore on Instagram, underscore V E R O L I A A. Period. That's just it. That's just all it is. But please go down and get you a nice. Hold on. But like I was saying, you guys, please, 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 please. Yes, you guys like my my book. <laughs> but please go down and get you a nice little name bracelet on Verolia's site on Instagram. Their website is amazing. All their cute little jewelry, you know, it's just cute and dainty. If you're trying to go out, if you just want to wear it. It's good for anything. It's so cute. It's so affordable. Also, you guys, please go down to another page of, you know, that I'm ambassadoring. Made with Melanin Co. It will also be in the description down below. Please support the black culture. You know, all that we deal with, all that we go through. We got to stand together. And that's just that. So please go to Made with Melanin Co. And go support Go get all that's on her website it's just amazing and use my code which will also be in the description down below which is the real dot maya andrea underscore all like that if you got me on instagram then it's the same exact name on my instagram the real dot maya andrea underscore like i said it will be down in the description box below but anyways Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys for being on the journey with me, MA family. I love you guys. I love it, love it, love it, love you. And see you in the next video.